Olá a todos! Hi everyone! Bem-vindos a mais um episódio. Today I will be announcing our lucky giveaway winner and teaching all about three very important Portuguese verbs that have more than one meaning and therefore can be tricky to understand. I want to teach you how to use them in the right context and hopefully you will be able to recognize the meaning when you hear them in daily conversations. Então, vamos começar! The most common meanings of the verb ficar are four. To stay, to be situated, to become, to get, as consequence of something, to keep. As you can see, these are all very different in English. Let me give you some practical examples for each usage. Eu fico em casa depois do trabalho. O supermercado fica perto do banco. In this case, you can use ficar and ser interchangeably. You can also say, o supermercado é perto do banco. Eu fiquei muito contente com a notícia. Fica com este vestido. The verb ficar is also used for clothing, accessories, shoes, to say expressions like it suits you well, looks good on you. O casaco fica-te bem. As calças ficam-te muito bem. You can also use it for the negative. Esse vestido fica-te apertado. Esse colar Fica-te mal. The verb custar means to cost, but also means to be difficult or hard. Let's see some examples. O livro custa 10 euros. Custa muito estudar depois do trabalho. Common idioms use the verb custar. Expressions like no matter what, in Portuguese we say custo que custar. I find it hard to believe is custa me acreditar. Or it's a piece of cake. We say isso não custa nada. <laughs> And that also has several meanings. Some of the most common are to walk, to travel, to ride, to be, to come in the imperative. Vamos ver alguns exemplos. Eu ando a pé todos os dias. Eu ando de autocarro em Lisboa. Eu ando de bicicleta aos fins de semana. Onde é que ele anda? For the meaning to come, we use andar in the imperative tense. Anda cá can be used interchangeably with vir. So, vem cá. Now I'm happy to announce our giveaway winner for a free one hour online lesson with me. The lucky person is Mona Giro, so congratulations. Feel free to reach out on my website or on any social media page to schedule your online lesson. Thanks for watching and for everybody that is my subscriber. We just reached 1500 subscribers, so I'm very excited. Thank you. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, to hit the bell to get those notifications. Então adeus, até a próxima.